for all things Halloween. <laughs> This is Hauntformer, and today, everyone, I'm going to be showing you how I made the Sewer Rat Halloween prop. So this is a really easy build, and you can do it in many different ways, so I'm going to be pretty vague with the instructions in this little tutorial, but I hope you'll enjoy the idea behind this character. So basically, you're going to need a piece of PVC. Really, the size is up to you. I would make it big enough so it looks like a realistic piece of like wall piping, but you're gonna get that piece, and you're also going to need two 90 degree pieces, so it looks like as if it's coming out of the wall, and you're also going to need a T section. This is where the rat will come out of. Once you have all of these PVC pieces, Cut the PVC maybe about two-thirds of the way up and add the T piece. This is going to be an excellent place for the rat to pop out. Once you have all of this though, you're going to begin painting the PVC. I started with a metallic coat of Rust-Oleum. This is a really cool looking metal uh, and it's a primer also which is great. It definitely gives the appearance of real metal and it just looks really terrific. Uh, definitely looks aged as well. Once you get this coat on, I then added some more, I believe it's Rust-Oleum, of this kind of rusty looking paint, uh, which is funny because it's called Rust-Oleum, but we're trying to make it look like rust. Uh, I added only this in spurts, not over the entire thing, just to make some of it look aged and rusted, and it turned out really well. I then went ahead and added the green paint. This was the most fun, and uh, definitely don't be sparing with the green paint. Make sure to get it all globbed out. It can pile up, it can look bad, but that's the point, to make it look gross. And once you get this done, now it's time to assemble the rat. So I had a rat lying around from Dollar Tree, and I went ahead and cut off its head. Poor little rat, but that's okay. He'll make a great addition to this Halloween prop. I then painted his eyes and mouth with a similar green color, just so it looks like maybe he's infected with the toxic goo, too. Once you get all of this done, you're gonna wanna glue him, I used hot glue, into the tubing, and then you will have your completed Halloween prop. You can do this in so many different ways, so if you made your own, make sure to send me a photo at hauntformer at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe, because remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer. <laughs>